Okay, a quick video here on uh, doing a little box with the very simple UVW mapping. Okay, so what we're going to do is go on to the create box. Now I'm going to put this in my top bit. Just dragging this out for a moment. Now I'm going to go into the parameters here. I'm going to make this 8. Go down. 8. Go down. Now I'll make that 40. And what we're going to do, we're going to make this into a gun for Unreal Development Kit. So go down here, zoom up all extent. Now what I want this to do is actually point along the x-axis. So having angle snap toggle, click on rotate, right click to activate this viewport, rotate it 90 degrees, happy as Larry, movement, now we're just going to sit, no, no, that went wrong. So uh, what went wrong there? I don't know. Get rid of that. Move that there. Move that there. Now hopefully, that there was a bit of a lag there on the rotations. Just zoom it all out and get the pivot to it aligned. Now, as you can see here, next. Onto the hierarchy, effect pivot only, and align to world. So that the actual pivot of the, the mesh is going down the x axis along with everything else. So, the next thing we do, right click in this section here, right click, convert it to an editable poly. Now you might think, yeah, okay, what we're doing here? All right, very simple. Editable polys are easier for me to work with. Now, I said basic UV mapping. So go down, apply UV modifier, unwrap UVW modifier, click on edit, and you get this lovely massive display screen. Now, I don't know, I normally install a different set of tools because I'm not, not don't like these ones, but. Uh, We'll play with it. Right, in the selection mode, we go up on to select face sub object mode. Just drag across and select it all. Now go up into mapping and go on to flatten mapping. Now right, you can use unfold, you can use normal, but for something simple like this, go on to flatten mapping. Ask you for the threshold, blah 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 blah. You go okay, and there we go. We've got four sides and each end. Now we want to put the put these together because at the moment we've got basically four sides and two ends. And if I go down here a little bit, we're on thick seams. And if you sort of zoom in here, just right click and wheel in. You see that that green line being your seam. And if I click on thin seams, that should go uh, very thin, he said. Okay, leave that as it is. Now, as you can see, this is all sort of not so much goofed up, right? Picking on the sides here. Well, there's two sides that are actually nowhere near each other. So, what we're going to do is just click on these. Move them about a little bit. Now, move that up there. Get that one back up here. Now, this is actually quite easy, he said. So, all we're going to do is make sure these vertices, when I select that red one, it's opposing one on, well, the next one on the face goes blue. If you can just sort of Let's zoom in there. It doesn't probably won't come up that very well. Zoom extents. So just making sure we've got them all correct. There, 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 there. Yep. Just making sure. So we'll go back into face mode, and I'll just do my best to eyeball them together. Right, I say. 
you know, haven't got the tools here available that I like using. Don't know why Max, well, or Des hasn't implemented things like that, but hey. So all we're going to do is select that, those four, go on, world select. And as you can see, this line now goes white, which means there's no seam there. Okay? Do the same for that one, and do the same for that one. World select. Okay, that's lined up fairly well, as like we said. So, next thing we want to do is actually add these end pieces on. So, where, where shall we do it? Shall we do it? Oh, we'll do it on the top one. So, what I'm going to do is just select these two here. Now, you can see this has gone blue. So, we need to rotate that plus 90, he says. Now, we'll go back into face mode, bring it across here, click on rotate 90. Go back into vertex mode and double check. And guess what? It didn't go the right way. So just staying in vertex mode, expand selection, rotate 90, rotate 90. Now, if I select these again, we get the right ones there. Still checking that we're still at top, bottom, nothing's got mirrored. There we go. Move across there, well selected, and do the same on this side. Right, if we do that, we go plus 90, move them across there. Just do it. See, it's done it again. It's went the wrong way. Go plus 90, plus 90. Double check that, and there we go. Very easy. Select them, well selected, and we're done. Are we? Well, no, because it doesn't fit in this big blue box. Okay, so we'll just go select the lot, select by element, quite important, select the lot, and scale it down, and move it to wherever you want. Now, obviously, that's very simple. Well, another thing to check before you go check a pattern. Apply a checker pattern, and if everything's correct, it should show up nice and equal on here. If it doesn't, you just move these things along. Yeah, and not forgetting, you can sort of just move them horizontal, move them vertical, scaling, width, height, and all these mirrors and all the rest rotate. Okay, now that's very easy. What well, I'm just going to do, I'm just going to save that and save that. Uh, that's, a, that's a different one I was playing with. Let's change that as box. Done. Okay, and that's ha happy with that for the moment, he says. Yeah, well, I think we'll just leave it at that for the moment, and, well, it'll go on very quickly, he said, even you all. Now, if I can find it, teapot, there we go, let's do a teapot, do a teapot in the top, yes, fine. Now, I'm going to do something really silly here, make that into an editable poly. We're going to apply a UVW map to it, and as you can see, on this, you've got your seams already in there. Now, if we click on Edit, we get that. Like, oh my god, what's that useful? Well, if I put the checker pattern on it, that actually looks quite nice, surprisingly. But it's it will not fit in our map, our little blue square. So, uh, what you can do, select the whole lot, go into Tools, and pack UVs. We first we pack them, yeah, 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 I think. And now it all fits in. That's fair. Uh, it's not going to be very good, uh, especially if you're doing a, a games mesh of that. 
And obviously with a lot of spaces you're going to have a lot of seams. But it works. Okay, so if you're just doing something quick and nasty, do your flattened mapping if it's a box or however you want to do it, and if it doesn't all fit, you very quickly go on to pack UVs. Okay, so we'll just leave that as it is. And you know, that's the wrong one, as per normal. And I'll see you with another one very soon. It says.